Get ready to learn what the pros don't want you to know. If you're looking to take your wholesaling and flipping business to a whole new level, this video is for you. In order to consistently find good deals that you can wholesale or fix and flip, you have to get good at marketing for distressed properties. Now, marketing allows you to consistently get in front of what we call motivated sellers. These are people in your market that are ready and willing to sell you their properties at a discount. And when it comes to marketing for motivated sellers, I'm gonna show you my proven step-by-step that blueprint that will help you 10x or scale your wholesaling and house flipping business coming up. For a limited time, you can get a free copy of Jerry Norton's Quick Start Kit with everything you need to flip your first house in 30 days or less. Download it now at myquickstartkit.com. Hey, if you're new here to this channel, I'm Jerry Norton with FlippingMastery.com, and this channel is all the ways to help you make money wholesaling and flipping real estate so you can live your dream life. Be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss new videos. Now, I don't do this often enough, but before we get started, I want to do a quick shout out and congratulate Aman Amu, who sent me a DM letting me know that he watches all of my videos and he just closed his first wholesale deal and made a whopping $8,000. Aman, thank you for sharing your success with me, but I'm willing to bet that he isn't interested in doing just one deal like this. My guess is he'd like to continue to get checks like this. Imagine getting three checks a month like this, or five, or 10. That's the focus of today's video, scaling your business and consistently doing deals every single month. Now, I'm gonna be honest, this video is definitely advanced, but even if you're brand new and you're working on your first deal, you can apply what I'm gonna show you right away, and this will help you not only do your first deal, but give you the framework to continue doing deals and scale your wholesaling business, where you are doing deals every month and earning a six-figure and even a seven-figure income. What every successful wholesaler and flipper firmly understands is that the lifeblood to the business is lead generation. A lead is defined as a distressed property or a distressed seller who is possibly motivated to sell their property at a discount. The only way to know if they are actually motivated and willing to sell you at your desired buy price is to get in front of them and make an offer. And the bottom line is without enough leads, you simply won't be able to do enough deals to hit your goals. Now today's video is actually a follow-up to a previous video I did where I broke down just how many leads you need to generate monthly to do one deal per month, and then how many leads it takes to scale from one deal a month to do five deals a month or 10 deals a month, or whatever your goal is. Now if you haven't seen that video or need a refresher, I highly recommend you watch it right away. I'll put a link to that video in the description description below for you to watch later. On that video, I broke down how many leads you need in order to do deals every single month. What I didn't do is I didn't break down how to manage the process from getting the lead all the way to signing a contract with the seller. That's what this video is for. Throughout this video, I'm gonna to refer to this. I call it my wholesaling acquisition blueprint right here. Now, I'm a very visual person and this really helps see the process. Now, if you'd like a free copy of this blueprint, as well as all of my word for word scripts so that you know exactly what to say when you're interacting with sellers, including how to overcome objections, then stay to the end of this video and I'll tell you how to get it for free. Now, let's start at the very top. First, we start with a list of motivated seller leads. Now, you can actually buy a list of names with addresses of people that fit a category as being potentially motivated to sell their property. Examples include pre-foreclosure, probate, out-of-state owners, delinquent on property taxes, and so on. And you can actually buy a list of names with addresses from what's called a list provider. That's a company that aggregates and sells this information. In the industry, we refer to this as data. So let's assume that you acquired a list of 100 pre-foreclosure leads in your zip code. These are people behind on their payments and the bank has started the foreclosure process. Remember, when you buy a list, you only get the name and address because that's all that's recorded at the county when a transfer of real estate happens, or in this case of a pre-foreclosure, a notice of default is filed by the bank. So now what? What do you do with this list of 100 pre-foreclosure leads? Well, step two is to proactively reach out and contact these sellers, and as simple as I can put it, ask the question, are you interested in selling your property? So how do you contact them? Well, there are basically three methods. 
Two of them we're going to touch on briefly, and the third we'll dive into more detail. Let's start with the most time consuming, and that's door knocking. Now you could go knock on their door and ask if they are interested in selling. Doing this yourself is extremely time consuming, so if you don't want to do it, you could pay someone good at door-to-door -door sales to do it and pay them a commission for every deal that you get. Method two is direct mail. This is where you mail a letter or a postcard that more or less says, I want to buy your house, call me. This is less effective than knocking the door, but much more efficient. The challenge is it's expensive. As a general rule, it costs about $1 per mail piece to hire a fulfillment company to do it for you, and you should mail the same list at least three times. So it would cost $300 to mail to a list of 100 pre-foreclosures. You could do it yourself, but I think we can all agree that stuffing and licking envelopes isn't a good use of your time. The third method is to get their phone number using a service known as skip tracing. This service takes their name and address and it matches it to their phone number. And once you have the phone number, you have three methods to contact them. Starting with the most effective to least effective, you can either cold call them, text them, or leave them what's called a ringless voicemail or RVM. Now let's break it down. Cold calling is, well, cold calling picking up the phone and talking to people. Now you could do this yourself or you could hire what's called a virtual assistant or VA. A VA is a remote worker from overseas that costs like five to $6 an hour. Now I did a video where I break down how to successfully hire and use a VA in your real estate business. I'll put a link in the description for you to watch it later, but the VA's job is to not close deals, but rather just to find out if the seller is interested in selling. That's it. Now in a minute we'll discuss how to close the sale, but since it's not a high level task and it only requires following a simple script, it's better to use a low cost VA than to do it yourself. The next most effective way to contact a seller once you have their phone number is with SMS or text. Now there are mass texting services where you can text blast in bulk the entire list at once. While not as effective as cold calling, text blasting is much more efficient and it costs a lot less. Again, during this step, the point is just to find out if the seller is interested in selling. Finally, the third way to contact a seller once you have a phone number and perhaps the least effective of the three is to use a service called Ringless Voicemail or RVM. In mass to your entire list, you can send a pre-recorded voice message straight to the person's voicemail without their phone ringing. So the seller thinks they just missed the call. Now, while affordable, RVM is much less effective than texting because not everyone checks their voicemail, but everyone sees their text messages. Now, unlike door knocking or cold calling, direct mail, SMS, and RVM are so powerful because you can do it in bulk. Batches of 10, 50, 100, 1,000, 10,000. This is how the pros are able to scale and grow their business, doing five, 10, 20 deals a month or more. Now keep in mind, once you get a lead, you could do one or two or all of these techniques. The more times you touch a lead, the higher the chance of making contact with them and the higher the chance of finding a motivated seller and getting a good deal. Now at this point in our six step process, whether you door knock, send direct mail, cold call, text, or ringless voicemail, all you're looking for is a seller to raise their hand that they're interested. If the seller's initial response is, yes, I'm interested in selling my house, we move on to step three, which we'll discuss in detail. But first, I have three points I wanna make about steps one and two. First is I recommend making at least three attempts to contact a lead using one or more of these methods. Bare minimum is three, but keep this statistic in mind. 2% of sales are made on the first contact, 3% of sales are made on the second contact, 5% are made on the third contact, 10% are made on the fourth contact, and 80% are made on the fifth to 12th contact. Now, that's a general sales statistic from the National Sales Executive Association, but you get the point. Don't be quick to burn through your data. Keep reaching out until you make contact. The second point I wanna make is once you start marketing in bulk, it's wise to get a 24 hour answering service to take all of the calls. Once you start doing bulk marketing, the responses will all happen at once and some statistics show that 50% of people won't leave a message. A 24 hour answering service will capture every call. 
And the third point I want to make is that everything I've discussed so far, from getting data for multiple lead types, to direct mail, skip tracing, SMS text blasting, RVM blasting, live answering service, and even virtual assistants and a CRM to organize your properties and your contacts are all tools included with my wholesaling system called Flipster. If you've never heard of Flipster, it's a cloud-based, all-inclusive wholesaling and house flipping deal management system with everything you need in a streamlined workflow so that you can take leads from beginning to end. If you're serious about wholesaling and flipping, then you owe it to yourself to check it out. To learn more and see it in action, just go to getflipster.com. Okay, so let's move on to step three now, where the seller has raised their hand and expressed some level of interest in selling their home. Now, I call this step the phone confirmation step, and as soon as you start to contact sellers in batches or in bulk, you're going to get some weird responses and people who aren't actually interested in selling. So I think it's wise to have a confirmation step. Now, you may skip this step if you cold called and they were clear that they're interested in selling, but once your answering service has captured a lead, this is where you call them and you say, hi, I'm calling because I see that you responded to our text, email, voicemail, etc., and I wanted to confirm that you do in fact have an interest in selling your property. Is that right? Great, let me schedule a call with you and my manager to discuss your options and how we can help you. Now this is no more than a five minute call and it can be you or again, a five to six dollar an hour VA. This ensures you or your acquisitions person is only on the phone with legit sellers. If the seller says, I'm not sure, not right now, maybe later, then put them in a monthly follow-up sequence. After step three, assuming they say yes, they're interested and you schedule a call, we move into step four, which is what I call the phone pre-close. Now this call usually takes about 30 minutes and this is where you and your acquisitions person find out all the details about the situation, the property, etc. Now I've created word for word scripts for what to say and even scripts for the most common seller objections. And you can use my seller lead sheet for keeping track of everything you discuss. And all of this I'll give you for free, just go to freesellerscripts.com. Now the most important part of this step is the pre-close right on the phone. Prior to getting on the call, do some simple homework and get to a ballpark offer price. Now, if you use my deal analyzer software that comes standard with Flipster, it runs the numbers for you literally in seconds. Then when you get on the phone with the seller, you give them a ballpark offer. And I did a video where I break down my six step pre-close on the phone, link in the description. Now it's very important not to spend the time to meet the seller if he or she is not in the ballpark of where you need to be. Start by asking the seller if they have a price in mind. After explaining all of the benefits of your cash offer, say, so for an offer like that, would you mind sharing with me the price you would need for the home? If they won't tell you which is common, say, I'm just running some numbers here and given the neighborhood and all of the costs that I'll incur to buy, fix, and resell the property, I'm going to need to be in the ballpark of 110,000. Maybe I can go as high as 115,000 depending on how things check out. Then be quiet and see what they say. Now, if they don't agree or their number is too high for you, then put them in a weekly follow-up. But if the ballpark number is acceptable, move to step five and schedule a site visit to make sure that you are good with the neighborhood and the condition of the home and to meet the seller. Say something like, Mr. or Mrs. Seller, I'm not sure I can make 110,000 work. That might be a little tight, but I'm gonna do my very best to get you that number. Now, just to confirm, I'm meeting you this afternoon at 3 p.m. And just so we're on the same page, I don't wanna waste your time or my time when we meet and we come to an agreement on the price and terms. Are you prepared to do a simple agreement with me to move forward and sell your house? If they say yes, now meet the seller at the property and verify your numbers. Be sure to have your contract ready. If you have Flipster, you can do a digital signature contract right on your smartphone or iPad. Then execute the contract and you, my friend, just did my six step wholesaling acquisition. Okay, like I said, for free, I'll give you this blueprint, the lead sheet, all the scripts. Just leave a comment and say, thank you, Jerry, you are a flipping genius. And if you found value in this video, do me a favor and like this video and if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to my channel with hundreds of videos and new videos released every week. This is the fastest growing channel on YouTube for all things wholesaling and flipping. And now I want you to watch this next video where I break down exactly what to do once you get that contract with the seller. And don't forget, it's not about the money, it's about having the time and freedom to have, be, do, and give everything God has in store for you. That's what it's really all about, and I'll see you on the next video.